Hi team, I hope you're well. Um, I wanted to do a weekly update on my Newt's Readathon. Um, I did take this to a poll on Twitter and you all voted that you would want to see this. So um, I think this one's going to be a good one because I can get you up to date with Lalathon as well. Um, there's also Readathon but I'm, I'm not fully sure where I am up to with that so I'll so probably cover that in the next couple of vlogs like weekly vlogs but this week was Lalathon from the 1st to the 9th of uh, November so I thought I would cover that as well as where I'm up to with my Newt's Readathon um, so let's get into it so to start off with um, I did have stargazers down for astro astronomy astrology I nearly said then astronomy um, accepting acceptable what is wrong with me um but i couldn't I, I struggled with this couldn't get into it i'll probably have to come back to it in another point in time or something it's only a short story like it's literally like just over 100 pages long so it shouldn't take me long to read but for some reason i struggled to get into it i was finding it difficult and it was taking me ages so um i swapped that out for one of lala's favorite books <coughs> excuse me which was star girl um, I really enjoyed this, I gave it four stars. I actually listened to this on Audible so I don't have the book but um, yeah I thought it was really really good, uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, nice easy read, well to listen to, it was really easy to listen to, the narrator was really good. Um, <clears throat> yeah I enjoyed it, it was a good one. Uh, good shout, Lala. And then the next book I picked was uh, The Grown Up which was just, I did have another one which I will explain about in a minute but I couldn't get through it, I ended up DNFing it so I picked this up instead which ends up not going towards my newts, this is on top of my newts readathon so I went into this book knowing absolutely nothing and if you've read it <laughs> I was shocked by like the first page or so um, but it was really really good, I actually really enjoyed it, there was a lot going on um, it was nothing like I expected. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest, but it was nothing like I expected. Um, <clears throat> from the beginning of the book to where it ended up at the end, I just did not see it coming whatsoever. So it was really, really good. It had me guessing all the way through, and I gave it four stars. Really enjoyed it. Again, a short read. Um, yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it was brilliant. Um, and then the last one that I did for Lalathon, so I did three books for Lalathon. The last one that I did was The Martian, which I listened to. This is the DVD. Um, I do have the library book, but it's in the car waiting to go out to the library tomorrow. So um, I thought I would at least show something. Um, I ended up watching this halfway through reading the book because uh, I just got into it so much and I forgot how much I loved the film as well. Um, the film is very... There are some things that aren't true to the book, but the film follows quite a lot down to the T, like even some of the things they say in the book are in the film, just things like that. It's quite very, very similar. They're very close. Um, I actually listened to this on Audible and it was fantastic. I was laughing my head off. I never wanted it to end. I absolutely loved it. And I think I found, um, an, well, not I wouldn't say a new favourite book, but it's definitely in my top ten absolutely i really want to send the audible to my dad actually because i think he would love it um yeah five stars absolutely loved it brilliant so um for lalathon i did the grown-ups star girl and the martian uh, and the martian was my favorite um really enjoyed taking part in this readathon i thought it was brilliant really good idea um yeah it was fab really really good um, so the book that I was, one of the other books that I was going to do that I ended up DNFing because I just, I don't know what's wrong with me, I just really struggled to get into it and I don't know if it's because I'm in a bit of a fantasy land or like in my head with the books I'm reading, you might notice in a minute when I show you what I've read so far, maybe my headspace just isn't in the right place or I don't know what's wrong with me but I just couldn't get into it, I'm going to, I've DNFed it for now, I'm going to put it back on my shelf and pick it up at a later date but I didn't want to put the pressure on me to have to finish it. This was one of my book club reads as well and it was part of my news so I did have to sort of switch that around a little bit and I'm not going to finish it for my book club but it's just one of those things. Sometimes these things happen and you're not into the book and you're not going to love everything are you? So um, it was Little Fires Everywhere 
so I don't know how much hate I'm going to get for not finishing this but I just really really struggled with it couldn't get into it I did try and listen to it as well I just I just really struggled I couldn't my head either my head's not in the right space or it's just not the book for me but I'm not going to DNF it and be done with it I am going to give it another go at a later date maybe when I'm not reading as much fantasy as I have got going on at the minute because I think maybe I am just in a bit of a fantasy land and I, this book is not sort of like fantasy based so I don't know we'll see how that goes so I ended up DNFing that and swapping it for uh, Not A Drill by Lee Child which I finished yesterday afternoon um, I gave this four stars I thought it was uh, really good um, it was interesting again different for, Lee Child, uh, for Jack Reacher than what I'm used to um, this is part of the Jack Reacher, Jack Reacher stories um, which I have a lot of somewhere where have they gone well they were all here and now they're not so whatever <laughs> I don't know where they've gone I have read two of Jack Reacher's big books and I have a collection of about maybe 15 of them so far my daddy's now starting them as well um, so yeah I love the Jack Reacher stories I'm obsessed with them so yeah um, I did that one so that was one that I finished yesterday um, so starting from I just I wanted to let you know about the little fires thing for La La Thon, so I told you about not a drill um, so starting from the beginning the first book well in fact the first actual subject that I finished was ancient runes because they're the shortest stories so I have now an outstanding ancient runes but um, I started this off with Prison Prisoner in Alcatraz which was a library book um, a short story I gave it five out of five uh, no I didn't I gave it three out of four star three out of five stars even what is wrong with me three out of five stars um, it was good I think what I wanted from it was for it to be a bit longer um, it would have made a great novel I think it was really good um, I've been to Alcatraz a long time ago when I was a kid um, and I really loved the place, I loved the film Escape from Alcatraz with Clint Eastwood so yeah it was alright, it, it wasn't bad it was a reasonable start to the readathon I suppose um, however the next book I read was In a New York Minute which was a book that's been on your TBR for the longest this has been on my Kindle for a very long time and it will be being immediately deleted I gave it two stars I wasn't a fan it was I know it's it's meant to be a, sm a short story like it's literally I think about 32 pages it's not very long at all but I do feel like it's the sort of story that was massively rushed it's something that literally could have been turned into a novel and I, it was just really really rushed I, I, I wasn't a fan at all like just not keen not a fan that's all I'm going to say about that um, then to finish Ancient Runes and get my outstanding the last one was The Girl from the Other Side Volume 2 um, I really enjoyed this didn't realise there's a third volume I think there might be a fourth one as well so I'm going to have to get my hands on those because I want to find out what happens um, I gave this four stars really enjoyed it it's, it is a manga um so yeah thought it was great i then i might as well just go through and tell you in order of the subjects what i've done that makes more sense in my head so then there was star girl which i did for astronomy that i've just told you about for la la thon as well um gave this four out of five stars just told you that so that was for acceptable for astronomy and then for exceeding expectations there was the moon fairies night sky by Anne striker i read one of her books last month and i gave it five out of five stars i have also given this five out of five stars her writing is amazing i absolutely love it it's such an insane fantasy land i just absolutely yeah i just loved it love the fairies i do wish it was a bit longer but the story is there and it gets to the point it's just loved it thought it was brilliant loved it and then um yeah so to finish off astronomy to get my outstanding was the martian which i've just told you about uh and then care of magical creatures so for this i which is actually quite suiting for today today sunday it's armistice day um so for care of magical creatures um acceptable 
I read Poppyfield. This is different to what I initially said I was going to read. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is anyway. Or I might have changed it last minute before I did the video. So in my head I'm still on like old whatever said I was going to read. But anyway, I really enjoyed this. It was a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, there are illustrations in the book. And it's just completely gorgeous. Really, really beautiful book. Five out of five stars. I'm obsessed with it. I'm actually taking it around to my parents tomorrow so they can read it as well. Um, but it was a perfect read for a perfect time of year. Uh, couldn't have come at a better time, to be honest. I really enjoyed it. I think everyone should definitely read this book. Uh, it's, it's very, very good. Heartwarming, heartbreaking. I just loved it. thought it was beautiful. And then I read um, Elevation, which I do have the actual book for, but I have lent it to someone at work now. So I read uh, Elevation by Stephen King, his new novel. Uh, well, yeah, novel, short story. It is very short. It's really good. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four out of five stars. Um, yeah, it's different. It was good. I, en I thought it was really good. Very different though to what Stephen King usually does. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then I read Dragon Age to get an outstanding in care of magical creatures, which was something that's got a dragon in it. It's not got a dragon in it, it's got a dragon on the title, but I think if you read the next one, it may have dragons in it. I'm not fully sure. So uh, I think I will probably read the next one. I gave this a three out of five stars. It was all right. It wasn't brilliant. I've read better graphic novels, but it was okay. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It was all right. Three out of five stars is over half. So yeah, it was all right. Didn't mind it. Um, then Herbology, I read Not A Drill, which I've just gone through with you because I DNF'd Little Fires Everywhere, something with a green cover. So, uh, Then I read for Exceeding Expectations, I've just read this now before I did this vlog, so I could say I'd read it. Um, I've read Civil War The Initiative, it's just a comic that was alright, I'm not, I don't know, I've not given it a grading yet but I'm probably going to give it like two and a half three stars maybe it was okay I thought I was going to like it better because I'm obsessed with Marvel and the Avengers and stuff but I don't know it wasn't fantastic I don't know um so I have ex up to exceeding expectations for Herbology the next book on that one is uh Blackwater Lake which I have every intention of trying to finish this weekend well start and finish this weekend so that I can get my outstanding on herbology um, History of Magic was well I've done basically what I've done is tried to nail the two Harry Potter books I had left to do and then the Northern Lights because they're the biggest books in my entire readathon and then I can work around the rest of them so I've actually done um, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince for History of Magic which is the outstanding book without yet doing the acceptable and exceeding expectations because I'm going to get round to them um, but I, I love this of course I love it I listened to it on audio Stephen Fry is fantastic um, if you haven't listened to these on audio and you love Harry Potter, listen to them because Stephen Fry is brilliant. I'm obsessed with him. He's so good. Um, five out of five stars. I don't know why I haven't put grading on that. Five out of five stars, of course. Um, my favourite one, actually, out of the Harry Potter series is Prisoner of Azkaban because I love Sirius Black. But yeah, I did enjoy this. I thought it was really good. And I'm so excited to get on to the last one and finish it in have officially gone through the entire series once um so yes i have done that my i have every intention of starting the hobbit this weekend which i will explain in a minute why um and that's where i'm up to with my notes actually yes that is where i'm up to so i have outstanding so far in ancient runes astronomy and care of magical creatures i have exceeding expectations in herbology and i have started history of magic but um i have the outstanding but i don't have the other two so i need to make sure i get the other two which is 
uh, The Hobbit and War of the Worlds, which I am going to read both of. Um, so I do want to get onto this because yesterday me and my dad sat down and we watched the entirety of the Hobbit trilogy in one day. It was fantastic. I felt like I was on an adventure with Gandalf and Bilbo Baggins and I just loved it and I'm really excited now to read this. I haven't been massively motivated to read it because I thought it would be boring but after watching this I'm really excited because obviously usually the books are better than the film so it's going to be great I'm so excited. So yes I have every intention of getting started on that today. Um, I am currently reading Fantastic Beasts, Somewhere to Find Them. I'm on page 86. Finding this a really, really quick, easy read, but I'm just not giving it enough time at the moment, which I need to do. I could probably nail it, the rest of it, in like an hour or two this afternoon, if I actually put the time and effort in. So I'm reading this at the moment for Charms, Acceptable in Charms. And then following that, I need to read Tokyo Ghoul, which will give me my exceeding expectations. But I'm also adding to that, just because I love to push myself the frame up which is a arc that I have um that comes out on the 1st of December so I obviously want to do this one um so but I really want to read this as well a cover that charmed you is the is the one for this one so I want to read them both but we'll see because that's pretty big luckily this is a manga so it won't take me long to get through this it shouldn't anyway and then to finish that off for chance, the cycle of the werewolf, which I'm going to get into as well, hopefully this weekend. Um, what else am I on with? Oh, Northern Lights I'm currently listening to as well, which is the exceeding expectations for Defence Against the Dark Arts. Harry Potter is the acceptable and um, the Dark Tower comics are the outstanding. So once I finish this, I'm going to move on to the Harry Potter immediately and then those two will be nailed. Um, not that far into this maybe a chapter or two in uh, enjoying it so far it's pretty good philip pullman reads it himself so yes and i've also stolen off my dad and um, the other two books for this so i'm excited to read it and then read the other two it should be good uh looking forward to it so currently reading fantastic beasts and northern lights and i'm going to get on to today the Hobbit and Cycle of the Werewolf just because apparently reading two books at once isn't enough you've got to be reading four <laughs> but we'll see and then I wanted to tell you about some that I've switched up because um but just because so the first one that I've switched up again is my my other book club book I started reading this I started listening to it I just I do not like it apparently if you get a few chapters in it gets better but I'm just not sure I can do it I don't know I'm not feeling it whatsoever it's the truth which not feeling it at all so I have swapped this out now for another arc that I've got that comes out on the 1st of December for Rapid Falls um, I think this was read a book by an author you haven't read before so I haven't read anything from Amber Cowie before so uh, yeah that should be good and then I have also swapped out yeah I'm gonna get a bit of hate for this I reckon um, I've swapped out the couple next door for arithmetic which is um, a book of 300 pages or more and I've only done it because it's for another arc I've swapped it for another arc that comes out on the 1st of December so um, I've managed to read, by the looks of things, all of the really short stories and then left myself with the really big ones to read. Which is great thinking. I mean, obviously that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Because that's what you need to be doing. Plus a Harry Potter book. What else is left? Oh, Legend as well by Marie Lou. I've just I've got so much left to read. But after saying that, it's all, it's the first week. So I think I've done all right. Let me see if I can hold up what I've read so far. So I've read this, I've read this. I've read these and these. And I've read, oh bugger. I've listened to Stargirl. I've read, not a, this is not a drill, Elevation, Prisoner um, as, 
in Alcatraz vascular. Oh, I feel like this vlog is going to be a mess. Um, I think I've done all right. I've read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen books so far in the first week of my Luke's Readathon. So I don't think I've done too bad um, to start off with, but I do need to sort of get a shift on now because I, I obviously have a big pile of reasonably sized books to get through. Um, like each of these arcs are over 300 pages. I think uh, Winter Loom is probably Winter Loom is probably the thickest. Um, but yeah, we'll see see how I get on. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm not even close to getting in a reading slump. So I don't know. We'll see how I get on. This is the first week of newts. Um, also that covered Lalathon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have read any of the books I've got coming up and you have any notes, uh, please let me know below. If you've read any of the books that I have read and you agree or disagree with anything I've said so far, I know I didn't go into it too much, but I'll probably just do like a long wrap up at the end of the month on how I, exactly how I feel. Um, but let me, let me know below if you've got any comments or whatever. And oh, I just wanted to show you this again. So this is, how I am recording exactly what I'm reading in my bullet journal. So I've got each subject and then I write the title of the book and then I've got a grading system below. So um, I'm just grading, colouring the bottom in for how many stars I think each book is. Um, and then at the end here, I, for others, I've got obviously the grown up because that's not included in my new readathon. And then a few others and then truth which was going to be my book club read but i'm now not going to read it <laughs> so i'll probably just scratch that out or something but yeah that's how i'm recording exactly what i'm reading as well as on goodreads if you're not following me on goodreads you can do it i'm going to leave the link below all of the other links for my blog and for facebook twitter pinterest instagram everything will be left below um and if you enjoyed this please subscribe um and I shall see you next time. Bye.